Hey guys, my name is Scoby and welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to play Sega 32X games on your Android device. This is going to be a nice, quick and easy tutorial. I'm going to be showing you step by step how to do everything. Let's jump right into this. So the first thing you need to do is open up your Play Store. And once your Play Store is opened up, we're going to be searching for and installing two apps. The first of these is going to be RetroArch. This is going to be the free emulator we're using in today's video. So that's the first thing you want to download and install. And the second thing we're going to be looking for is Z Archiver. And this is going to be another free app for your Android device. We're going to be using this a little bit later for extracting our games. It's an app I'd recommend having on your Android device regardless. So the first thing you need to do is get both of these installed. Once both of them are installed, we're going to be opening up RetroArch. And if this is your first time opening the app, you are going to have to allow it access to your phone storage. Once this is opened up, what we're going to be doing is clicking on the load core option at the very top. If you have other cores, they'll all be listed here. But we're going to be scrolling down to the bottom and we're going to be looking for the download a core option right here. Simply click this open and we'll get a list of all available cores for our RetroArch. We're going to be scrolling down until we see the Sega option. And we're going to be looking for Sega-MS-MD-CD-32X Pico Drive. We're simply going to be clicking this. And this is going to be installing the core we're going to be using to play Sega 32X games. Some text will appear at the bottom. Once this disappears, our core will be installed correctly. We can simply click back out of here on the top left. We're going to be loading back into the load core option. And we're going to be loading up the core that we just downloaded, which is right here for me. And you'll see the text will appear on the top left Pico Drive. And that's exactly what we're looking for. From this point, we're going to be backing out of here and we're going to be talking about games. And that's where Z Archiver is going to come into play. So I actually have already created a Sega 32X folder specifically for my games. And as you can see, I currently have Star Wars Arcade here in a .zip file. And when you download your games, they will most likely come in a .zip file. And we're going to be using Z Archiver to extract our games out of this. To extract your game, you can simply click on it once. Click Extract here if you would like to extract it in its current location. Or Extract dot 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 if you would like to extract it to a different location. In this case, I've already extracted it previously. As you can see, I have my game here. And you're going to be looking for .32x files. So games for the simulator are going to be in a .32x file. And if your games come in a .7zip or .rar format, that's also fine. We simply extract them. And I believe you can also play .zip files in this emulator as well. However, for best practice, I always extract them into the correct format. So I will also mention, I'm not going to be showing you in today's video where to download games. Although games are really, really easy to find, a quick Google search will help you out. But once you have your games downloaded and extracted, we're ready to go back to RetroArch. And from here, we already have our core loaded, so we don't need to worry about that. We're simply going to be clicking on the load content option. And here we're going to be locating to where we extracted our games. So I have my Star Wars Arcade here in the .32x file. I can simply click this. And just like that, our game will start to load up. Now, because this is a pretty old console, most phones should run this no problem at a pretty decent frame rate without any issue, I would imagine. And just like that, you're playing 32X games on your Android device. Anyway, guys, it's as easy as that to play 32X games on your Android device. One extra thing I would recommend is connecting up a controller. I'm not going to be showing you in today's video how to connect up and map your controller. However, I have a previous video where I can show you how to do that. I'll leave a card on screen and leave that linked in the description down below. And just like that, you're playing 32X games on your Android device. Anyway guys, if you enjoyed this tutorial, be sure to drop a like. Subscribe if you're new, check out the other videos on the channel. I'm going to be leaving a link down below to my PayPal if you find these videos helpful and you want to support me. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching. Until next time as always, keep it saucy. Peace.